you guys see that Poppy is out. It's like completely passed out. You guys don't think that she's like Gonzo, right? Like the dream shadow got her? Like the dream shadow got her. In other news, the Lonely Isles are now upon us. Hello and welcome to another thrilling episode of Prepare to Dice where a bunch of animators play Dungeons and Dragons together. I'm your humble Dungeon Master Raghav and I want to introduce you to the real stars of our show, our eclectic explorers. Hi, I'm Andrew and I play Timba. Hi, I'm Christine and I play Rocco. Hi, my name's Renee and I play Bjorn. Without further ado, let's prepare to dice. You guys uh, climb off the sides of the ship and jump onto a small balcony that's jutting out of the sloping roof of the tower. Uh, so as you start to step in, you see a dark tunnel with a winding staircase leading you down. The staircase is very narrow and as you go down, you get the feeling that this place has not been entered in a while and the smell of dust is strong. Uh, you sort of reach an opening, but it's uh, really dark. Does any of you have dark vision? Oh, I do. I have dark vision. Me too. It looks like I got dark vision. I can see up to 60 feet. There you go. I just grab onto both of you guys and be like, lead me! <laughs> uh, I'll be in the front because I'm just curious what's going on. I'm in the middle because I'm holding onto both of you for dear life because I am blind and I'm scarred. But I don't let you guys know because I'm brave. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the two of you uh, see a square stone room. There's three suits of armor standing on each opposing wall. Uh, there's two flights of stairs going down on your left and your right, and there's a door directly opposite to you, behind the armored statue. I got a bad feeling about these. What do you think we should do? Hmm. I think we should tell someone to turn on the lights. Don't they know we're here? <laughs> this is so rude. <laughs> oh, I have a produced flame spell. Oh, there you go. That could be cool. You produce a little flame that comes out of your hand, and uh, Rocco, now you can see 10 foot around beyond. So you can kind of make out that there are uh, two suits of armor on either side of the wall. I wanna go kick this bad boy! As you start to move towards it, you notice that slowly each suit of armor moves one step. I just sort of like swipe back at, at Timbo and be like shh shh shh. <laughs> um, I get my bow ready and aim it at, at this guy on the left. You draw your bow and you let one loose. <laughs> And uh, the arrow goes flying and hits the knight right in the head, right in the middle where the where the plate isn't there. And then you hear like a rumbling sound. All the suits of armor pull out their swords and they're ready to battle. So go ahead and roll initiative. The knight that you hit uh, beyond starts walking towards you. Uh, that's a six, so that misses, right? I'll use an Eldritch Blast. He swings his sword and uh, beyond just ducks and pushes him, and as she's pushing him, energy flows out of her fingers and just blasts at him. He takes six damage and he gets pushed back. I think I wanna like really quickly like run here, and then I'm gonna use Thunder Wave. All right, so you fly towards the one that's on the farthest end of this uh, room, and the two uh, knights that are new, they swing at you, but you're simply too graceful. You like dodge and weave, and as you reach your destination, you just Last thunder and electricity out from you. When you hit him, he just sort of like gets like shoved back into the wall. He's sort of like stuck in the wall. So it's gonna take him one mo whole movement to sort of get out of there. And I turn to him and I look and be like, excuse me, do you know where the lights are? <laughs> So uh, that night he uses his turn to get out of the the sort of wall that he was stuck in. He just like sort of <laughs> breaks out of the wall and he stands in front of you and that'll be the end of his turn. And then uh, the other night, this guy, he'll walk towards beyond. He like takes two big steps like <laughs> and he swings his sword and completely misses. All right, I'm gonna maybe try that Ray of Frost spell I got. Maybe the bits of metal will freeze together or something. You pull out your water skin, you take a little sip of water and you... And this ray of white light goes and hits the guy. So he takes four damage and you can see like his arms are like sort of frozen together with the sword. And then uh, I might try to do one thing where it says Hector can act as a bonus action. Yeah. Uh, this one's for you, Hector. So Hector jumps off of you and jumps onto the suit of armor and is just like wiggling around in there and you can see he's like, oh, fuck. We've got a man on the inside. <laughs> nice. Like a Richard Gere situation. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
I'm gonna use Shocking Grasp on this guy in front of me. And I have advantage if they're wearing armor made of metal. Hey, look at that. So you uh, grab the guy and you just, again, just electricity comes out of you and <laughs> he takes, his head flies off. You guys are all completely out of range too, so I can still do, I can just move one step and use Thunder Wave again. Uh, the knight that just like stepped out of the uh, stone, you just like walk up to him, you put your hand on his chest. And do you want to say something before you blast him into oblivion? I just go, no, no. And I just gently push him back in. So electricity uh, comes out of your hand and blasts him back into the wall. And he, like you can see, he kind of like conducts that electricity and somehow like all it arcs through and hits each of the uh, knights and they all burst and just into just like a hope oh, Hector's okay he was in one of those suits you see you see like a little ball of fur just fall down and then he unfurls and it's Hector and he's like he like does a little pose for you and he's like my boy <laughs> Hector he survived I still can't see anything practically blind <laughs> <laughs> I rush over with my flame trying to help which way do you guys want to go maybe we should do the door then hmm <laughs> So you enter into this new room. I'm coming in. Uh, there's a large pool in the middle of the room and the pool is uh, full of glowing red liquid. Is it blood? Magic blood. <laughs> <laughs> Rocco probably thinks that her blood glows, probably. My blood does glow. <laughs> make, uh, let's see, make a, a medicine check. A anyone, any two of you can make it or one of you can make it with advantage. Dr. Timbo. I've got a 12. Eight. Both of you, you're looking at it and it looks familiar. This water, like this liquid is something that you've seen before. I just like kick at it a little bit. So you kick at it and you uh, you dip your toe in it and uh, you suddenly feel a little better. You feel like a little, uh, like a little rejuvenated. Kicking things always makes you feel better, I say to this group. Do we have a container we could put some of that in? I have a water skin. Can I use that? Yeah. So I dump out my water and I fill up my water skin with the health potion. Okay, so you, I'm just gonna add another health potion on your inventory. Awesome. Uh, do you guys want to go onward and upwards, or to the left, to the right? Full speed ahead. Uh, as you walk into the other room, um, there's another pool in the center, and this one is glowing blue. Ooh. And if you look uh, throughout the room, you can see like on the left there is a sigil, and on the right there is a sigil on the wall, on the floor as well. Let's divide and conquer. I'm, I'm towards the right already, so. Is this like, would this be like an arcana? So I have plus three. How is everyone else doing on arcana? Uh, plus five. Arcana. I have plus two. Actually, each of you can make an arcana. Yeah, 16. I got 13. I got a 15. Nice. Uh, each of you looks at it and Timbo, you, you can tell that this is, there's many different types of spells that could work here, but it's, it's an evocation. Both of these are evocation. Uh, Glyphs. All right, I want to do one of those. I'm gonna bend down and like touch it and do shocking grasp on it. I'll do ray of frost on it. Go icy again. <laughs> you cast your spell and then the glyph just starts to glow green and you see that the water in the pool starts to churn and the water, the color of the water changes to green as well and then it starts creating a kind of a like a whirlpool and then as this is happening, the door that you came in through shuts. All right, I'm gonna go kick it. <laughs> you go up to the water and put your foot in it and then Rocco gets sucked inside the <gasps> whirlpool and she disappears. I'm panicked, oh no. What do we do, should we follow her? Oh, oh, let's text her, can we text her? Oh, we should text her. Let's text her. <laughs> what should we say? Is your, is your refrigerator <laughs> running? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> 